Hello everyone, my name is Zuchen, I'm the director of Fault. Hi, my name is Jo and I am the playwright and the sole performer in Fault. And today we are going to play a little game of yeah. Q&A. Q&A. Okay, Jo, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I am. Alright, the first question. <laughs> is there a Singaporean identity? Wow, mm. this game is a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. so no, it's like an anywhere thing in anywhere. Yeah, I, I think there is a Singaporean identity. Uh, unfortunately, I also think that part of the Singaporean identity is sort of a, a sort of a looking outward to emulate other identities. Uh, just because of our colonial past mm -hmm. and because of the sort of like the conditioning we've had which is oh please don't speak singlish you know we have to speak uh, like Americans especially if you're on 7 you know or you have to speak uh, you know British accent if you're doing theatre or you know you speak Chinese a certain way our Chinese is like shit you know and, and um, yeah I think we're conditioned to sort of go like you know uh, I wish my identity was more like other people's and I think that's an integral part of the Singaporean identity and I, and I actually hope that changes. We are more than just kue tutu cushions. Mm. Mm. Well, Pamela, what do you think? I think for me, we, we, I, I think we do have a Singaporean identity I, but I think it's one that's not homogenous. Mm. So we are Indian, we are Chinese and, and, and even if we're within the Chinese race, we have different yeah. uh, different cultures within that, and within that ethnicity and yeah. even for Indians or Malays and all that. So uh, depending on your social back, back, background and cultural background, but I think what it is is that when we talk about food, we all get so enthusiastic and we yeah. get, it's, it's, a, it's almost our religion. It is, and then the Malaysians will defy us for it. So there, <laughs> there, there is a Singaporean identity. Is a Singaporean we are, we are proud of our food, we are proud of our heritage. And some of it is ours, some of it really is ours. <laughs> no. Hopefully it doesn't go to Malaysia, but Malaysians, we, we love, love you. We love you and your food. Yes, but we all... <laughs> were once part of the same yes, family, we were, we were, we were one big but there's slight changes to our own as well. It's true. It's true. I mean, we've yeah, we've, we've just uh, been influenced by so many people. So, so mm. yes, here it oh, it's closed. Okay, here we go. Here's the question for Jian. Uh. My question is, ask each other a question. Ah. You know, you think this game is figured out. Okay. You start. Ah, uh, Zijian. Yes. Why do you like Muji so much? Because it's simple. I like uh. simplicity. Okay. And because I, uh, because I like simplicity, I'm drawn to clean lines. I like the idea behind it. I like the concept of simplicity. Mm. And Muji for me epitomizes that. Mm. And and so I always feel very much at home when I'm in Muji. <laughs> but you know it's not very Singaporean. It's not. <laughs> but but just but but you can still like Muji and still be a Singaporean. <laughs> and Singaporean encompasses so many things. You can like Shannon, you can like uh, these true. things, you can like your rojak and have rojak in Muji. Oh I think you cannot. Eh? I don't think they will allow me. I'll, I'll bring <laughs> my load rojak into I think you will get thrown out. But 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 no no I, I think that's a valid observation. I mean actually the world is shrinking so much. It's I, I think our identities are kind of all getting like muddy yeah. together. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. Hey, what's your what's your question for me? <laughs> My question to you is more theatre related, which is what has been your most challenging role so far. Hmm. Most, I don't rewarding, know. most rewarding. I don't know. Oh, most rewarding experience. Most rewarding. Mm. I mean, honestly, there's so many of them. They're so rewarding in different ways. I I, I really enjoy doing comedy. Yeah. So I really have fun. Like I mean, it's so nice to do something that's funny and nonsense, like Lakage, where I was like playing two different characters. You know, comedy. Kind of you know, it's just like this a politician's wife and that was that was so much fun and not of course you got costumes and sequence. And I also really just like the experience of doing black box theatre or or something like displaced persons welcome dinner, which was it's not a black box theatre but it's just there's almost no crew, we're just on the stage moving everything and, and of course I really, I actually really enjoyed doing sixty. I mean honestly yeah. I mean, I, and I'm and I'm grateful to companies like PFP and, and people like City and, and, and people like uh, Checkpoint for not just thinking that I can do comedy, you know, something, and and so th those are very rewarding experiences as well. When you have to dig deep into something, I mean, it's you was when I had to dig deep into some personal traumas, you know, to to go and uh, reenact the story of this dead woman, right, <laughs> who died in childbirth. So so yeah, 
yeah, different, different kinds, different, yeah. different, 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 different favorites, different favorites. Mm. Nah, got them. Okay. How can one break out of their mold? Mm. Mm. Uh. <laughs> That's something for you. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Is it for me? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's so. Um, uh, you just have to tell people. <laughs> Well, yeah, I suppose this is that that's an interesting question for me because I think for a long time people see me as a comic performer. Ah, sorry, I just had to do that. Let me just surprise you. No, you see what I mean? Yes, you are wondering. I mean, I don't. That's not. That's, that's not my only. That's not the only thing in my comic repertoire. But uh, uh, um, I, I think a lot of people think of me as that. And so, uh, I, as I as I said, you know, doing something like it's actually, I was very grateful because. Um, I was being given an opportunity to do something that I was not usually seen as. How did I break out of it? Ah, God, <laughs> those like Because you are a good actress, you are a comedian. You. But right? how, how did you? Why did you decide to give me that part? Actually, because I saw you as a good actor. Full right. stop. Period. Thank you. And um, and I think people tend to think of you as comedic, a com mm. comedic actress. But I think I think you were for me. Uh, you, you are more than that. So, you, so for me, I, I saw that, that, that quality that I think I can push you, you. in that particular role, and I think I'm, I'm happy to work with you on this. Thank you very much, Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I'm so, so grateful. Yeah, I mean, uh, TFM has given me the chances to develop my, my skills as a playwright as well. Um, so, I don't know. You have to have people, I suppose, who believe in you, and how do you do that? You know, I think it's easier nowadays. Uh, you can brand yourself because you have a platform. I think young people, if you feel that some people see you in a certain way, you have a platform of Instagram. If you want to go the artist route, la, you know, then you go like, oh, you know, I've been filming this really dark short film. And people are like, oh, you know, this person can do like dark short film. Uh, so, so you have a platform to brand yourself. I, I don't know in daily, if you're asking about daily life, like if everybody sees you in a certain way, I, maybe. It's just the answer is the same. Take a chance and show a side of you that you feel you haven't dared to show before. And I think that's what a lot of us are scared to do. We're scared that we are not enough. And we always have to put something on to, to feel safe, to be accepted by people. But if you feel that that's boxing you in, take a chance. Show somebody you trust a different side of you. And maybe you'll be able to develop that side. I don't know what do you think, Jian. I think it's just to to be aware of your strengths and as well as your weaknesses. So grow your strengths, but, but work on your weaknesses. I think that's the most important thing. Um, and everything else is just secondary to me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, next question. Quotable quote. Quotable quote. <laughs> quotable quote. <laughs> quotable quote. I don't know how you transcribe that. But uh, how do you see yourself as a theatre maker? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I just do my work. I don't really see my. I don't know. Is it because because oh. I mean because it's so I'm so consumed by it. Mm. You don't see yourself I suppose in yeah. any other way. And 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 also theatre making is a very is it a very presentational in a way so that it's almost like I don't know. I don't know. Tell me if this is wrong. But it's mm. almost like I see my theatre as this. But in the end, at the end of the day, what's important is what the audience sees. Is that is that relevant? Mm. Yeah, I think it's because you do need an audience for your work. Mm. But I think it, more importantly, you need to find the reason why you're doing what you're doing. Mm. Um, the words that you put on the page, um, the, the, the visions or the imageries that you, you compose on stage with the designers and actors. Mm. But I think it's important that every day you have, when you wake up, there's a purpose mm. in what you're doing. And I think that's what theatre is for me, that, that I do wake up with a purpose to want to communicate my ideas and share those ideas with a group of people, um, people who who I'm working with, mm -hmm. um, from the actors to the crew to the administrators to the producers and then eventually to the audience. But eventually mm -hmm. I think what it is to me is about sharing a vision that mm -hmm. is inclusive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and everyone can have a reading on it. Because mm -hmm. art, is, art is so subjective. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. But it's the invitation to read and to mm -hmm. interpret. Mm -hmm. Quotable quote. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Me? Oh, must answer also. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 